I'm Lisa. Welcome to Lily's Designs. Today, I will show you how to put this college applique embroidery font on this t-shirt. This is an easy and quick project. And if you're interested in purchasing this font, you can find it on my website at lilysdesigns.com. For this demo, I'm using the largest A, which is four and a quarter inch by four and three quarters of an inch. We need some fabric, and I cut a piece six by six inches from my fabric. You'll also need some heat and bond light, and I cut it a tad bit smaller than the six by six inches. I'm ironing the heat press to the fabric. I'll let it cool, and then I'll peel back the paper. Let's prep the hoop. I will be using the Mighty Hoop as it makes hooping so much easier. I also will be using these sewing clips to hold my stabilizer in place. This is the first time I'm giving this a try, so we'll see how it goes. The stabilizer I'm using is Cutaway. If you're interested in any of the products I show, I will list them down below in the description. I'm sorry, my big old head is in the screen. All right, before I put the top of the hoop on, I'll remove the sewing clips. And I have to say, the clips worked out great and kept the stabilizer in place. I'll grab the top of the Mighty Hoop and bam, it's that easy to hoop. I'll load my design into the machine and I'll have to eyeball where the center will be and hopefully the letter A is centered on my granddaughter's shirt. I hit the start button and the first stitch out will be the placement stitch. It's showing you where the letter will stitch out. To move this video along, I will speed up the video in some areas. If you'd like to slow it down, you can do so by clicking the wheel on the lower right of this video. Choose playback and lower the speed on the phone or tablet. Click the three dots that are on the top right hand corner. When the machine stops, place the fabric with the heat bond facing down on top of the stitched A. Make sure it covers the letter A or whatever letter you're using. When I hit the start button, it will stitch a tack down stitch, which will attach the fabric to the shirt. When your machine stops, go ahead and remove your hoop. I just got these duckbill scissors, so bear with me. I do know you should have the duckbill side on top of the stitches when you cut, which I have to get used to. All right, I wanna go ahead and clip as close to the stitching line as I possibly can. I put a heat mat down and turned on my iron so I can fuse the letter A to the shirt. I will iron it according to my instructions on the heat and bond package. Once I put the hoop back on the machine and click start, it will finalize my embroidery font. It will run a zigzag first to tack it down, and then it will proceed with a satin stitch.
I am all done and I really like how it turned out. My granddaughter is going to love it. Now let's see if I was able to center it. I got it off the hoop and I'm very happy to say that the A is in the center. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down below. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my video, be sure to hit the subscribe button along with the bell. This way, you'll be notified when my next video comes out. And please share my video on your social media. This way, I can continue to offer free patterns. Thank you. Bye-bye.